one post that you can put on your Facebook to generate immediate activity. Were either of you in that course or in that little power bike? Uh, no. Okay. Are both of you agents? I'm not. Uh, I'm just a marketing director. Marketing director. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm the agent services coordinator over at Hendersonville. Okay. Beautiful. But yeah, I teach, I help teach like marketing and stuff. So, so the number one post that I tell my agents to post like right away is how much rent do you pay? Um, it always gets loads of traction and more often than not, it turns into a buyer appointment, but because we kind of went over that last time, what I really wanted to go over, um, with you guys today is how to keep content rolling out and how to repurpose it. Because I think so many agents get caught up in the, um, the idea of having like all new content for every single platform that's out there when really you can repurpose tons of your content as long as you keep it in snippets. Mm -hmm. um, so I do, a, I do a lot of uh, marketing research. And one of the things that I learned through my research is that um, filmmakers, uh, commercial makers, advertisers, they have um, people's attention span down to a science, right? So they know, and you can actually, I suggest when you're watching TV um, tonight, count this, they know that they need to change frames every three to five seconds in order to keep the consumer engaged. Isn't that crazy that our attention span is so low that they have to film a scene in three to five section segments? Um, so my suggestion is always, you know, you have a video in your phone and it's always with you, right? So take three to 30 second clips of just anything because all of these clips can be used um, throughout multiple platforms in different ways. So I'll give you a breakdown of how, um, kind of how a formula might work if you're doing like a day in the life of a realtor. And Sorry, there's a child here and I think she wants to say hi, but now she's hiding. Oh, there she is. Do you want to say hi? Hi. 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 <laughs> hi. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a day in the life. And this would be something that you might post on Instagram. You might post on TikTok and then tell you exactly how I would repurpose it. So how many of you, like, do you each watch TikTok or Instagram reels? Yes. Yeah right? Like I'm addicted to TikTok. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But, um, so you've seen the day in the life videos, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I would do is I would say, okay, let's do a day in the life. So I'm going to take three to five second clips of what I eat that day. Maybe me making coffee, um, what I'm snacking on, making a mm -hmm. phone call, um, listing it, looking at listings online, um, handshaking with someone, um, mm -hmm. closing paperwork, signing, all of those things can, especially for people who have um, uh, reluctance on being on camera, all of those things can keep their face off the camera until they get into the groove. And then to repurpose it, all you're going to do is if you edit inside the apps, that tells the app that your content is original. So mm -hmm. for example, um, you might put all of these clips into a TikTok video and then do a voiceover. And then even if you use the same clips on a Reels video and do a different voiceover, each, um, each brand is going to recognize it as different, unique content. Does that make sense? That does make sense. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So editing in editing within the app is the number one thing that's going to drive engagement because they like unique content. Um, and then the other way to use this content. So we now have uh, a TikTok and a reel, and we've just done a voiceover for both. Um, next, you're going to want to repurpose a short snippet into a story. So you'll put a story up directing them to your reel to drive more engagement. Um, and then you can also do a carousel. So three to five short screenshots of the video that you're playing 
with a swipe to the right. So all of those things, I mean, just with five short three to five second videos, you now have four to five pieces of content that you don't even have to think about mm -hmm. the next time you're trying to figure out how to put content onto the internet. Does that make sense? It does. Um, so the other thing that I would suggest is if you are doing trends like TikTok dances or Instagram reels, something very trending off it, obviously that, um, is going to be very specific, right? Especially those dances. Now, this is not going to tell the algorithm that it's unique content, but it will tell the algorithm that it's not posted to another brand. And all you have to do is go over to SnapTick and I'll put it in the, in, in the chat, how you smell that. And you can just upload your TikTok into that SnapTick and it'll remove the watermark for you. So now you have another way to repurpose your content. Mm -hmm. And then the third and easiest way to create engagement um, is to use trending sounds. And we also talked about this one last time. Um, use very short sounds and do a very long caption over your video. And by doing that, you will get more views because people will need to watch each video multiple times in order to read the whole caption. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've actually heard I, of that one. Have you? Yeah. So when I tried this out, when I first heard of it from one of the coaches that I follow, um, I, you know, I would get 200, 300 views on TikTok and then they would vary significantly. When I did that one, it got 1200 views in the first hour. So oh, wow. um, it's definitely a way to kind of trick the algorithm to play to your favor. And then of course, the other thing is to use the right hashtags. So there's two things that you always want to use. Uh, the number one is you want to make sure that you have a hashtag that's branded to you or that your agents have a hashtag that's branded to them. So you know, mine is crazy cat realtor. I've been crazy cat realtor for 10 years. Um, I also use music city lifestyle because that's my brand. So those two hashtags go on everything. And what this does is it makes me, makes it easy to find my content on large platforms. So you might have a client that's looking to, uh, find your definition of escrow and you know that you made a video of it. You can say, Hey, go check out this video. Just hashtag crazy cat realtor. Right. And the other thing that I do is to use hashtagify, um, and this is a paid service, but there are, you can, there is a free trial and you can also, um, there are other services out there. This one's just my favorite, but what hashtagify does is it allows you to search through trending hashtags to make sure that the hashtags you're using are the ones that are going to get the most engagement that week. Um, because as we know, hashtags popularity change just as often as the stock market, right? So um, keeping up to date on what hashtags are trending is really important. Any questions about that? I don't have any questions. That's a lot of good information though. Um, I'll have to look up hashtagify. Yeah, and there's a couple other ones out there. I just pay for that one. So it's like, that's my right. go-to, but you can try it for free and it's not expensive. Um, and it seems and that, useful paying for it or worth it. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, it is now from someone who, you know, does 50% of her prospecting through online mediums and social mm -hmm. media, um, mm -hmm. it's absolutely been beneficial to me. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, um, you can use hashtags on Facebook now too, which for a little while, it didn't really help any engagement, but now when you're in groups, you can use hashtags in a group to find what you're looking for. So if you make okay. a post, you may also want a hashtag. On Facebook. Yeah. Um, and then let me see what else I wanted to tell you guys. The most important is like really just that those three to five second clips. Like I try to tell my agents, just keep your video out all the time, right? Like just take mm -hmm. videos of everything. If you're going to take a picture of it, take a three second video of it. There's no reason not to. Um, 
but lots of little things can get you more engagement um, if you don't have videos. So like if for some reason you are looking to try to gather, gather some engagement, um, but all you have is screenshots, right? Like I don't have videos of this, these houses because I haven't been through them, right? They don't exist. Mm -hmm. um, one of one of the examples would be like, have you seen the the TikTok with um, design choices from me with little to no explanation? So that's a trend going around right now. And I just did it with screenshots oh, of houses. That. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you can also use screenshots, mm -hmm. but you do want to either start or end with some sort of small video of you, or even if it's just a video, like I literally would hold a stuffed animal up to the video and talk mm -hmm. behind it um, because it creates some sort of like, what is this person doing? Right. And the more weird you are, the more unique you are, the more views you're going to get. Um, cause that's how it works. So. Right. Yeah. I think that's true. The less yeah. kind of like, I mean, it's like following the trends, but also Making not your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you can always try to set trends as well. Um, oh, yeah. uh, really popular, like asking questions, like if you did this, what would be your reaction or, um, duetting videos. Um, those are really, really popular things to do as well. Okay. Also, what I want to, um, make sure everyone knows is that posting content is not enough. You have to be engaged. So mm -hmm. with TikTok, especially if all you're doing is liking other videos and you're not commenting, um, that platform was built for engagement. So your followers will stay really low um, mm -hmm. and your views will stay really low if you're not engaging on a regular basis. So my suggestion is always follow, you know, the power of five across every platform. For TikTok, that would be five likes, five comments, five new friends every okay. day. Following five new friends. Yeah. Um, and then on Facebook, it's very similar. Um, so five comments, five likes or emotions, five new friends. And then you might also want to do five stories a week okay. and five posts a week. Um, the shorter the post, the more engagement as far as Facebook goes. If someone has to click read more, they're going to skip right over it. So one to two sentences mm -hmm. is the most that you need. And um, photos that are just copy and pasted from Google or just screenshotted from Google, the algorithm recognizes that as not your own content. So be sure to make your own content in Canva or like I said, just do a short video of, I mean, it could be anything, strap your cell phone to the fan and it just goes round and round, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're going to prioritize or got organic content over content that you pull from the web any day. And last but not least is just remember no outside links. So if you're posting something and you know, you, you have a new house and it just listed and you say, check out this new house, uh, four bedroom, three bath, 550,000. And then you post the real tracks link. Well, the reason people aren't engaging with that is because Facebook is like, uh, uh, -uh we're not getting paid for advertising on this. So we're shooting you down to the bottom of the algorithm. So uh -huh. always make your own post with your own um, photos and then put links in the comments. Okay. That's super so smart, Amanda. I didn't know that one. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got some work to do. <laughs> Those are my best tips. I love social media. So I'm always here if you guys have questions. Um, but yeah, I told you we could make it short. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. That was For fantastic. sure. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you so much.
you guys absolutely wanted to share with you. I know Amanda um, has presented with us before. Um, just a reminder before you hop off, because I know it's a busy evening for realtors, um, that we have training, coaching, playbooks, online courses. We have consulting. We have a lot of resources for you. Um, and we also have, of course, um, our Facebook page and our event break page. So we've got lots of events coming up. We have an event almost every day of the week, so lots of great tips and tricks. Um, grab and go, like these power bites are meant to be short, so you can get back to what you need to do. Um, Amanda got the memo; she understood the assignment. So <laughs> we, uh, I like it. You, yeah, that's right. Uh, we want you to join us. We'd love you to be there. Please share them out, um, and of course, we have our website um, with lots of great info on there. Um, so please check it out when you can. Um, if there's anything we can do to help you guys, I know both of you pretty well, um, so. I see you at the market centers. If there's anything we can do to help you guys with your business or your market centers or your team, um, Emily, um, please just let us know. Okay. Well, sure. thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much. You thank guys. you guys. Thanks, Amanda. Have a great Thank night. you. Bye. Thanks. You too.